Hey everybody, it's Juanita from In Motion. We're getting ready for Google World on Wednesday. You know, I wanted to do a tutorial for you. This one I call, Are You On The Map? Because in fact, when I look into Google, I want to make sure you have your business set up. As an example, your location, your address, a map of where you are. And in fact, when I go down, I can see photos of your business. I can see more photos. And in fact, even a video and your logo and things of that nature. Um, it's very important that you have a presence on Google. I don't think that's any secret to anyone. I guess the question is, well, how do you pull this off? How do you pull if you're maybe doing a free home warranty or you're doing something for free and you want to give your um, potential clients an opportunity to use your services and do offers? Today, I'm going to teach you how to do this. I'm going to go ahead and sign out of this account, and I'm actually going to enter an account where I don't have anything set up. I'll do that, and I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back and I have logged into another Google account that does not list my business. And I've gone to go google.com slash places. What you're going to do is come down here and click on the link places for business. As you can see, it says claim your free listing to get started or sign in to your places dashboard. So I'll click on places for business. The next step is to say list your business. As you can see, this is a free service from Google. And you'll start here with typing in a number. And you'll want to see this particular message here. No address found for business using this particular number. Add your info below. So you're simply going to add all of this information Add your email address, add your website address, and add a description. Now be very careful with the description. In the description, what I want you to do is make sure that you describe what you do. Make sure that you list things like, as here's an example of something you can list. Say, real estate agent serve in Atlanta, Georgia. All real estate agent services, including a free market assessment, experienced listing agent, and buyer agent. So now notice that I'm getting in the keywords, real estate agent, listing agent. Notice I put in a little bit of, of a bribe, free market assessment. That's important. So go ahead and make sure when you describe your business in Google Places that you do that, uh, keep those things in mind. Now for category, you're going to add a category. And I would put real estate consultant because you need at least one of the assigned categories and then you can build custom categories you can say real estate agent in let's just say Smyrna Georgia and you can add up to five categories that best describe your business and you'll do that service areas and location settings does your business provide services such as delivery or home repair to locations in certain areas? Go ahead and say yes to this. Yes, this business serves customers at their locations. And then you also want to make sure under where it says select how your service area will be specified. Make sure that you give this a check. List of areas served and list every zip code you serve or every city and state that you serve. So in this case, if we were going with Smyrna 30080, let's put that in here and say add. There we go. Hours of operation, you can assign those. And a, a, there's an option to say I prefer not to specify. Rather, you say that your hours of operating are as follows. You look like and feel like a real business. And then there's some other things you can add. Most importantly, add photos. Choose the file on your desktop top, and click add photo and then also choose a um, YouTube video give this a click and just say add video and that gets the make sure you include the link the YouTube link to that video click add and you're good to go and then you can add other little details as well uh, and then that takes care of how you get your listing on Google of course after all of this information is, is completed then you're going to hit submit.